Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Leslie. And we're the Wayward Wags. I retired as an Army medic after 20 years, and Leslie supported me every step of the way. We're coming to you from Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and we couldn't think of a better place to say, Go Army, beat Navy! We hope you liked the intro. There's a special reason that we did the intro that way. First of all, this weekend is Army Navy game. Yeah. So you guys say, Go Army, beat Navy. Every chance you get this week. Got to. And uh, let us know who you're rooting for down in the comments below. Got a comment, uh, go Army beat Navy or go Navy beat Army. But the reason that we really did it was because our friends over at You, Me, and the RV, Phil mm -hmm. and Stacy, um, are trying to raise some funds for the Fisher House. And the Fisher House is, uh, it's, it's kind of like a place where active duty and veterans can stay if they have family members or kids yep. that are in the hospital. So they incur like cost of hotels and yep. stuff. Uh, and it's completely free for the veteran or for the active duty service member uh, to stay in mm -hmm. and it doesn't cost them anything and the Fisher House works off of donations. So um, what they're doing is they, they got a bunch of people together uh, to, to get in on this arm, go, the Army versus Navy yeah. game and so basically if your team loses you donate five dollars to the to the Fisher yes. House. Yeah. Um, we're gonna donate either way whether the Army <laughs> wins or not but we hope that the Army Army wins. Uh, all the information that you need if you want to help the Fisher House or if you want to donate everything, we'll put everything in the description of this video. And then if you want to see more details, I'm sure Phil and Stacy are going to talk way oh, more yeah. about it on their channel. So pop over to you, me, and the RV. We'll put a link to their channel in the description below also so you can go over there and get all the details on that and join the fun mm -hmm. of the Army Navy game this weekend. We're on Fort Sill, Oklahoma. I went to basic training here back in 1996. I was also a drill sergeant here in 2006 and 2008. We're gonna go see a lot more stuff here on Port Sill. But first... But first... We're gonna crash your graduation. I cannot believe we're doing this. <laughs> Lord help us. We're not really gonna crash Bless it. Bless our hearts. <laughs> we're just gonna attend a graduation in which we have no ties. <laughs> We don't Not. know anybody that's going to be there. But it just so happened that there's a graduation on post today, so we're going to go and... We're here to support Private yeah, Johnson. Johnson. If anybody asks, we're here for, <laughs> to see Private Johnson graduate because we're very close family members on Uncle Ned's side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't believe we're doing this. It's going to be so much fun. But we're going to film it because everybody's going to be filming it, so we won't even look out of place. No. We're so, blend in, so we'll show you what a, sure. what a basic training graduation looks like <laughs> and we'll show you the newest soldiers in today's army because yeah. they're graduating basic training today. <laughs> you ready? Go see Private Johnson graduate? Yeah, well, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We just came from the, the cemetery on post too, the Apache Cemetery. Yeah. You got to see um, Geronimo's grave and a lot of his family members and, and all the other Apaches Apache. who were prisoners of war yeah. out there. Um, I don't know, we'll Google some of them, see if we can find some pictures to go along with the footage on the on the tombstones, yeah. but it was a really cool place. It was cool. It was really cool. And um, so now we're going to kick around the wildlife refuge and we'll go see if we can check out Mount Scott and whatever else we can get in to on Fort Sale. <laughs>
We are in the Wichita Mountains. Yeah. Wildlife refuge um, just outside of Medicine Park, yeah. Oklahoma. And it's uh, it's pretty windy, so we're going to try <laughs> to vlog. But we don't know if it's going to work very well. It's super windy out. Uh, it's been windy out almost every day, so it's really... But it's been sunny and nice. It's a beautiful day. But we're at the Holy City now. Yeah. And Didn't know this was here. What I don't really here? know anything about it. I mean, I guess they do services out here, and they do like... Easter, Easter services. Uh, like, um, what's that called? Reenactment. Right, they yeah. do like Easter reenactments and then they do Christmas stuff out here. This is a really cool place. I mean, it's really cool to look at. We're at the Artillery Museum on Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and uh, lots of cool stuff inside to see, and some even cooler stuff outside to see. It looks like they got a bunch of rockets, a bunch of artillery stuff. Yeah, from none way of this back. was here when we were here. Yeah, and it starts way back from like, uh, like War of 1812, sure. Revolutionary yeah. War type artillery stuff. Looks like they have a, a uh, Veterans Memorial over here, a bunch of rockets and cool tanks and stuff, so we'll show you all that real fast. Forgot to mention, it's completely free. Oh, yeah. It doesn't cost anything to, to come out here and see the artillery museum. No. All you gotta do is sign in. Yeah. You, know, you gotta get you know your pass to come on post. Yeah. And then you sign the little thing in there. That's it. Yeah. Free. We like free I stuff like to free. do. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it fills time and it's free. Yeah. So if you're on Fort Sill, close to Fort Sill, come and check it out. And I honestly, I don't know anything about artillery. I don't either. I was a medic. Yeah. So I don't really so, know much about artillery. So it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would never want to be it, artillery, <laughs> but yeah. it's cool to look at. Yeah. And the big guns and yeah. all that stuff. Big I like ammo. shooting guns and yeah. stuff, but I don't, I don't see myself as an artillery man. Nah. Even though I did basic training on artillery post and drill sergeant, drill sergeant on artillery stuff. post, but I don't yeah. see myself as an artillery man. No. no definitely not. No boom boom. No, you got medic <laughs> hands for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was it was cool because I finally got to see Fort Sill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You and me both. <laughs> I was stationed for two years as a drill sergeant. I didn't get to see anything. Yeah. I didn't realize how much cool stuff was at Fort Sill. Yeah. And Lawton and in Medicine Park area. There's a bunch of cool stuff. There is. And the coolest part was how much money we spent. Uh, on doing things? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we spent nothing. No, not everything we went to was free. Absolutely free. Yeah. We crashed to graduation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basic training graduation, that was free. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went out to the Fort Sill Museum, which was free. Free, yeah. Or the Artillery Museum. Yeah. That was free. And then the Fort Sill Museum was also free. We didn't get to go to that. But then we went out to the Wildlife Refuge. Yeah. Free. Yeah. Completely free. Yeah. The Holy, then the, City. The Holy City was out there. Yeah. Free. free. It's yeah. all free. Yeah. We saw, out of the wildlife refuge, we saw prairie dogs. Yes, prairie dogs, longhorns. Long, wild longhorns. And finally, on the finally. way out, we saw the buffalo. Yeah, <laughs> we we had to zoom in pretty good on the yeah. buffalo, except for the one, there was one There's a little closer. One that got closer to the road. So, it was cool yeah. to see the wildlife out today. It was yeah. a perfect day. The sun has gone behind the hill, and the wind has died the down. Stopped. Uh, we weren't we weren't able to vlog outside earlier because the wind was just so crazy. Oklahoma's windy. <laughs> like it's like rip your door off windy yeah, out you here. Yeah, you have to hold your door. And we forgot totally about Kansas and Oklahoma, so yeah. all of our videos in Kansas and Oklahoma are pretty much the only time we're talking to the camera is inside. Yeah. Or if we catch a, a break. Uh, yeah. Which like we do now. So, mm -hmm. um, and we were trying to really hard to find a window because we really wanted to. <laughs> talk outside so, yeah because it's just nice out it's beautiful out. and we're out here at Lake Elmer Thomas which is on Fort Seal mm -hmm. and it was pretty cheap like 15 bucks a night full hookups out here so if you're a military or retired military you can stay out here it's pretty it's quiet um, I think that you can probably get a visitor's pass to to camp out here too because we I saw so. some soldiers who were graduating their parents were camping yeah. out here yeah so somehow they got it worked out so Unless I'm sure they were our prior military themselves yeah so I'm sure somehow you can get a pass to come out here and do it, but I mean, don't try to get a visitor's pass on on post if you got warrants. <laughs> I always I always like to point out the places to try to not go to if you have warrants. I'm yeah, looking out for uh, yeah for for the people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we're heading to Texas. Yeah. This is our last day in Oklahoma. Texas bound. Yeah. Um, but we're we're looking forward to being down south. Yeah. Where it's a little bit warmer. A little bit. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed going and seeing Fort Sill with us. And uh, at the end of all of our videos, we honor a fallen hero. I think this time, though, because we were out at the Artillery Museum and they had a tribute there to all the fallen artillerymen, mm -hmm. I think we're going to honor all of the fallen artillerymen who have served and paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. And they are the reason that we get to live this lifestyle. So we yeah. thank them for their sacrifice. And if you're a veteran, thank you for your sacrifice and for your service also because you have provided us with the freedom to, to live this lifestyle. And um, we don't take one day for granted. Nope. We are enjoying it immensely. Yeah. We're having so much fun. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.